Some people are nervous on stage. I'm nervous off stage. I just want to get onto the stage as quickly as possible and start playing. <laughs> um, and then it's very, very exciting. Yeah, because once you start, you can't stop. South African Michael Blake is, in the words of one critic, a composer with nothing to prove and plenty to say. His influences are vast, so is his talent. His compositions can be jarring and challenging. They can also be beautiful and inspiring. Born in Cape Town in 1951, Blake left South Africa in 1977 because he refused to serve in its army during apartheid. He spent the next two decades in London. He immersed himself in the musical techniques and instruments of Africa, including the Mbaira and African bow, and translated them into Western music. This work developed into the more than two dozen pieces he calls his African journal. His later music has become more postmodern, including piano sonata. It's an experimental composition inspired in part by South African choral music. Blake has written orchestral, chamber, vocal and electronic music. He also teaches and has established music festivals and programmes to nurture young composers. We met with him at his studio in Cape Town. When I'm writing a piece, I'm already thinking about the next piece ahead. I'm just thinking about it in the back of my mind. And more often than not, I take something from the piece I'm working on as a starting point for the next piece. But usually I, I start at the piano and I improvise. Sometimes I find, search for material that I like. Well, I usually know the performers when I write a piece. I you know who I'm writing for. So I'm thinking of them all the time. Um, you know, I, I, I can visualize them and I can see them playing the piece. It's a great, it's, that's the moment, you know, when you have to kind of uh, let go. It's like giving, you know, it's, like, it's probably like giving birth. You have to let go of it. And now the performer is going to do something with it make is, is going to make it into a, a piece going to perform it but of course that's not the end of the story because i will be you know i'll go to rehearsals and i will work with them and help them with uh, to get it absolutely to the way that um that we both want it. Uh, some, some composers are very um, authoritarian. They dictate everything that the performer must do, so the performer has, almost has no freedom anymore. And I like to give and take. There are certain things that have to be played in a certain way or whatever. <laughs> music I do or the performance of traditional classical music has mostly been the preserve of white composers and white musicians except for choral music music for choir um, and there's a whole black choral tradition in South Africa uh, music which is written down and sung by 
the many, many choirs um, in, throughout the country. Nowadays, I mostly only play my own music, especially when I play with other musicians. I practice for a long time, prepare for a long time. Because I'm not performing all the time, you know, I feel the need to have to get back into shape like a, like a runner. I don't you know, teach in an academic way, but I, I teach in a very unconventional way. In terms of compositional style or compositional aesthetics, it's quite subversive. Mm -hmm. 